everyone, Dee Hendricks here, and our topic for today is pre-op. You'll notice here under library, I have already pre-selected pre-op. I'm telling the system that I want to use the patient's existing tooth. Once you have completed everything in the setup tab, you can move forward to the scan tab. You're going to click on pre-op and you're going to scan in all the pre-op information you need. Once the dentist is finished prepping, then you'll scan in the prep information you need. You'll notice here on the right hand side where we have the little green dot, if you left click into the alignment pre-op, you'll notice that the prep and the pre-op are aligned perfectly. Next, we're going to move forward to our margin tab. In the margin tab, you're going to go ahead and mark your margin of your prep. Once you're finished, then you can move to your pre-op editing. In the pre-op editing, you're going to click trace and you're going to trace your whole tooth that you're telling the system that you want it to use for your crown. Once you are finished, you can next go to design. In the design tab, you'll notice here on the bottom left, you already have pre-op selected and that's what we selected in the setup page. Next, click apply. And then you'll watch your tooth morph into the pre-op. Once that is finished, you can go on to the left hand side and click on your free forming tools. And you'll notice here on the bottom right, we have what's called a view pre-op. Once you left click on the view pre-op, you'll notice the pre-op is on top of the crown. Here we can go in and double check of how well our pre-op and our crown align by using our slice plane. You can left click on the slice plane twice. It runs the line through the crown, buccal lingual. And here I'm just going to go through the tooth and slice a section. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see. And you'll notice here where we have two lines that are almost touching and a line that's slightly below the pre-op. That lets me know that my pre-op and my crown aligned properly. You can go through the whole tooth using your slice plane to double check that your pre-op and your crown aligned properly. Once finished, then you can go through and make adjustments to the crown if you need to. Once you are finished with that, then you can move to the mill tab and mill out your crown. Thanks for joining in for our topic for today, pre-op. 